This presentation explores the flexible idea of applied learning, what it means, why it is important in a course-focused practice context, and what it means to your academic practice. There are two screencasts that focus on integrating employability through learning, teaching and assessment on your course. Both are concerned with integration, that is, how learning, teaching and assessment on your course embodies employability through the course design and its delivery. Therefore, this is not about bolt-on employability modules that are included specifically to develop skills for employment, though where these are present on the course they will act as flagships for employability. This screencast looks at applied learning, the methods you use to engage and teach your students. The sister screencast considers the integration of the university's 3 plus 3 graduate attributes. The university is keen that the academic community answers the question of what applied learning means for themselves. However, this screencast offers suggestions based upon the work of the Applied Learning Special Interest Group, a cross-faculty group of academics which has explored approaches to integrating employability through the curriculum. They propose that Applied Learning incorporates three sets of established principles. The first of these is authentic learning, relating knowledge to professional practice through active and challenging forms of engagement. The D3Bs, learning design that focuses on doing, being, becoming and belonging, and connecting, learning that develops and benefits from a communal and network-based design. Each of these will be introduced in this screencast. Together they offer a framework for integrating applied learning. Applied learning addresses the key attributes of developing confident, creative and resilient graduates. Learning is intrinsically motivating when it is immediately meaningful and useful to students. This promotes learner engagement and sees a shift from teacher direction to the development of confident, self-determined students. Applied learning then creates situations and challenges that are intrinsically motivating for students. Develops student self-regulation, encouraging them to become autonomous. Develops self-efficacy, the student's belief in their own capabilities and it increases the teacher's options to create an interactive learning experience. So how is this done? Knowledge is introduced, developed and then applied by involving students in authentic experiences. So these include meaningful challenges with real-world relevance, Activities and tasks that make use of professional thinking and skills. Expert performances that model authentic processes. Complex problems involving multiple roles and perspectives. Collaboration and cooperation. Learning by reflecting on success or failure. The need to articulate knowledge and thinking through communication with peers and other significant people. Undertaking assessment as part of authentic activities. Enjoying a personal and collective sense of achievement by taking work further and deeper than is necessary. Receiving and giving just-in-time support, 
in response to continuously developing challenges. These principles are developed from work that's been uh, taking place over many years, uh, led by Jan Harrington and colleagues in Australia. Their work is uh, concerned with authentic learning. So that's the first of the three frameworks uh, that we're going to refer to. So secondly, we can look at the D3Bs. This work comes from occupational health and Wilcock offers the D3B framework which can be used to outline how dispositions are developed. They're developed by doing the things someone like us does and being the cultural identity, attitudes, systems and approaches we use. The idea of becoming a steady sense of progression towards achieving our personal and professional aspirations. And belonging, feeling valued and part of a community or network. Our third framework builds upon the idea of connectivism. Though originated in the context of the digital age, it addresses ideas about connecting knowledge and the way we can learn and work together in general. We learn by connecting a diversity of opinions, specialized nodes or information sources, how we connect ideas digitally, the role of critical thinking in an ever-changing knowledge context. the social context needed to facilitate lifelong learning. We learn by connecting emerging sources of knowledge. We learn through currency by connecting up-to-date knowledge. Finally, we value the act of decision-making, taking risks and evaluating innovation. So to conclude, what's this mean for innovation? The applied learning paradigm then is exciting as the focus moves from the delivery of package knowledge to its discovery and analysis. In this paradigm, the learning environment becomes more challenging and stimulating by being student-centered, active, discursive, connected, open-ended, challenging and stimulating.